guys. Uh, my name is Marco Prochhausen. I'm sales manager Europe for Union Tech Shanghai. I am responsible for all sales activities we do here in Europe. Hello, my name is Jimmy. I am the application and service engineer based in Germany from Union Tech Germany. I am responsible for uh, the technical support also the process technology for Uniontech. I'm Jason, sales director of Overseas Business Unit, Uniontech. We are very glad to be physically coming back to Formnex this year. Yeah, this year uh, we changed a little bit from our SLA line, what we showed all the years before. We thought we bring our very, or our brand new printer line, the DLP printers to the show this year. The Q300 system is a 4K DLP printing system with a very, very high resolution. And even of the high resolution, we have a very, very big platform. We have some customers, they have higher needs and higher expectations on the resolution of this printer. For that reason, we have developed another printer. It's the Pi 200. And it's basically a similar, a similar machine, but with a smaller platform and a native pixel size of 50 microns. With this pixel size, you can really go in all high precision parts or for all high precision parts in, in medical or in industry. And with the launch of our uh, new printer, Matrix 190, now we have a full range of uh, photo curable uh, printing solutions, including SLA, DLP, and LCD. And now we can provide the full supply chain, uh, including printers, software, materials, and also a printing service. This part in, inside the machine, uh, we finish it in four hours. That means the speed of printing is about six centimeters per hour. And compared to the other concurrents, I think it's a pretty impressive data for the performance of the 4K DLP printers. And with a variety of materials, uh, the printer can offer a wide range of applications, such as the electronic and animations. This printer, the Q380, is developed for the dental field, and our customers in this field are printing mostly dental aligner models. The good thing is that we have a very, very big platform and we have a very, very big resin tank. This is an industrial grade dental printer. You can use it seven days a week, 24 hours a day. This is the pro end product which produced on our Pi 200 machines. And the material is from Union Tech. It's called Toy Story 2.0. And the material is especially for animation application and you can see the resolution is very fine and the quality of the surface is very impressive you can see the very fine textures on the wing of this toys also the face and the surface structures this part is the most popular part on the form next for us and it's finished with the BASF materials on the Pi 200 machine. This is a traditional test part of industry. It shows with different thickness of the parts and the different uh, the angle of the parts. Well, uh, two main uh, uh, or two key uh, uh, challenges we face is, uh, let's say, one is the uh, high performance and uh, cost effective materials uh, and the uh, automation in the printing process. 3D printing is to create an environment which is more friendly to the operators and to the users. This is not only in terms of the, the free design, but also in terms of the manufacturing process itself. So that means uh, the people can save time in design. They can also save, save time and save energy in the printing process. That means they don't have to make a dirty hand or they, they don't have to, to take care of uh, I mean, the online uh, fabrication process. I think from my perspective, nowadays using AM has two big advantages. The first one is that you have wide range of the applications because you have different uh, materials with different mechanical uh, properties. So the application can be very fine, deep into every field. So this is the first advantage and 
the second advantage is you can save a lot of time with the AM machines, uh, with the AM process. The challenge for us now is to quick understand the, the requirements of the customer and then to give the response. We create a lab and office in Germany, Frankfurt to give the European customer better service and the maintenance possibilities. That is something we can do for the globalization. And as a Chinese company, we are very confident to have the best service on the market. Unitech is in a, in a process to expanding our business globally. Uh, currently, we have already our subsidiaries here in Germany, and we have one in Vietnam. And the next year, we are going to open our new uh, uh, branch in the United States.